Hello everybody on YouTube. Here's another tutorial for everyone who has uh, Windows and uses Sony Vegas. Uh, this is another Sony Vegas 10 tutorial. I'm um, going to show you how to make a montage video because I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do transitions and stuff and uh, some montage questions and stuff to do like videos like uh, Modern Warfare and stuff like uh, Black Ops and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to get right into my virtual version of Windows on my Mac and I get right into Sony Vegas, okay. If you want to uh, know how to change icons and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want a uh, tutorial on how to do uh, change it and look like a Mac, your windows and stuff. If you want to uh, know how to do that, I could do a tutorial for you in that as well. Okay, bring this uh, window down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, this section right here. Just a little bit what I've done to get it to follow the song and everything. Just to do something a little different. Okay. And this is uh, to the Metal Gear game. Right here, uh, Metal Gear 4. And I have all the Metal Gear games, everything. And I have the clips and everything. Kind of little montage uh, just to show you how to edit a little bit and do a montage. So here, what does it look like? Okay. Let me uh, get it to play faster. So, to do that, if you have any problems with uh, your video clips not uh, playing uh, to the full speed, like like full time or whatever, just uh, press Shift B, and it should allow your clips to play in a um, like a lot better and to uh, not be so laggy a little bit. But you can only do like uh, small sections. So like right here, it only let me do like a little bit so I can't go all the way to the end uh, that's kind of what I really don't like in uh, Sony Vegas since I've been using uh, Final Cut on my Mac and everything I just don't like that uh, you can only preview a small section as you're editing and stuff and, but uh, okay here's what it looks like my eyes are open wide by the way I made it through the day. I watched the world. Okay. And pretty much what I did to get the video to follow the the beat of the song and whatever, as you can see I had splitted the clip and when I split the clips and everything is what I do is I just press the S button uh, on the keyboard and I just uh uh put the uh, highlight where I want it or Put the cursor or the whatever on top of the clip that I want and it to cut off a little bit. And right here you can see like right in here I'll play this little part again. And you can kind of hear like uh, the, the piano part like right in here. So what I did to get it to follow the, the piano sound right in here I just uh, split the clip right here and all it is is just blank empty right there and it kind of uh, acts as a trend like a transition but instead of having a transition there all I did was um, just uh, cut the clip split it to however long the piano note I, I, I can hear in the song playing a little bit and uh, right here I had a, like a little just like a fade in it's not a, like a transition it's just fading in all I did was I uh, went to the uh, edge of the if you don't know how to do this or whatever I just went into the edge of the top corner of the clip and uh, I just went like this and added a little bit of a right here and on some of them it are I already put like a fade through black transition on some of them like on some of them you can like take it off or whatever and get rid of it like fade type you can change it and get rid of the transition whatever you can change the fade and uh, you just go to fade type by right clicking on it and you change the fade type and you can uh, uh, mess with that a little bit and then I'll show you what it kind of looks like right in here a little bit depending on how fast you want it to happen if you're trying to follow as much closely to the beat as much as you want to uh, get it close to the beat you can do whatever you want with the transition just go to the top corner and you just play around with it or you can drag on whatever transition you want whatever you can have it like that or you can just cut it off 
and go with the fade type and whatever, however you want it to fade in like that. Then you drag out the the fade and whatever. But uh, but it it won't fade like that if you put like a uh, any of these uh, transitions on there. And some of the ones I have are like new blue effects, and the new blue ones I don't really like the transitions on the new blue. Mostly what I like out of the new blue is uh, the effects a little bit. But I really don't really use the new blue effects or whatever. Especially while I don't really use them for one because I have another editing program which is a Final Cut and then two I just think uh, uh, they do a little bit too much and I just in certain parts I, I just mostly like to do a lot of flashing and uh, and flicker and stuff and uh, uh, motion blur a little bit and you can like uh, to, to mess around a little bit you can like to uh, get like a motion blur I showed you uh, how to do this on one of my uh, uh, tutorials that I did with motion blur and flicker so if you don't know how to get uh, this window to pop up go to my motion blur and flicker video and it'll show you how to uh, I'll show you how to get the motion blur to uh, have some motion blur in your video for Sony Vegas and uh, here's what you can do you can add some uh, go to, and I'll put a link at the end of the video to to go check out that video for motion blur and you can add like go to motion blur mount and this little red line will come up, or purplish, whatever you want to call it, this purplish line, pinkish, purplish. And you uh, just click right on it. Oops. Make sure you click right on the line. Okay. And then a little uh, point will come up. Bring it up to there. Okay. And you can have to as much as you want. So I'll go to right about there at a point there. Okay. And I'll have it to go to the right there. And to right about there. Okay, and I'll have this start right in there. And now it's going to as long as the clip, as as long as I want it to be. And I'll just uh, hot highlight right here. Okay, like right in here. And uh, motion blur takes a lot of uh, memory on your computer, so just remember that. And uh, you can see like a little bit of a motion blur. And uh, the only thing too that I don't like about Sony Vegas also compared to Final Cut is that uh, when you're trying to do like a motion blur and you have like clips cut off a little bit it kind of uh, blends in uh, with the motion blur a little bit and you can't really see the the like the parts that you cut out a little bit it's kind of hard to see that and it kind of goes off with the song a little bit and it's not really following it once you can see that a little bit here See, it gets off a little bit from the song. And you barely notice the 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 parts that I cut out because uh, it's uh, uh, doing like a motion blur a little bit. But if that's what you want in your videos or whatever, it's a different way. You just uh, mess around with that a little bit uh, with the motion blur. And you can add like, like you can go to like uh, Project Media, and you can go to Media Generators. You can go to media. You just go to your media generators, and then you just go to solid color, and you can add uh, one of these to act as like a like a like a flicker or whatever. But uh, you don't really have to add the black one because you can just cut the clip and just leave it blank uh, for however long you want it to follow the beat or whatever. But you can add like a white one, and instead like instead of adding like a flash or whatever, so I'll add a white one. See, so kind of like. Go to right here at this point. Okay. You can also change the color of it, whatever color you want. If you decide that you wanted it to leave it or whatever, and you don't want to get another one or whatever. But so, uh, let's cut it right there. Tap it smaller. Make it fit inside the parts that I cut out on the clips. Let's see, I want it to be like right in here. Have it right there or on top. Just put it right there. Now let's copy that. Okay. And when you copy it, go to paste and just uh, create a reference of the original media. Because if you create a new copy, it'll just create a bunch of these, and your project media will be all jacked up and everything. So just go okay. Okay. Right here, go to paste. Okay. Right here, paste. Okay. And right in here, I'll paste right there. Okay, then I'll go to Shift B. You 
can kind of see it a little bit, it's kind of like flickering a little bit, but it's doing it with the motion blur. So it's doing it like a bit slow and everything. Because motion blur kind of makes your clips play a little slow. Depends on what you want in your clips. So I'll just go to this and I'll, and I'll let's see. Let's see. Um, I'll just cut this out. I'll just cut this out. And I'll just get the get a black one and show you a little bit with the like if you want to well like a black one. See what a black one would do. Just messing around a little bit. Oops. Cut this out. Grab a black one. Okay, right here. Okay, let's put a black one right here. Right there, where I cut off. Cut it here. Cut it here. Copy. Okay. And paste. Okay, right there. Right click and paste. Okay, you can see the black instead of the white, and black might be better than white because uh, white adds kind of like too much flicker or whatever, too much you know, onto your clip or whatever. You could do the black a little bit, it doesn't show it that much. Okay, right there, and uh, and right here, you can do like mess around with the clips with the transition everything so I'm gonna go right towards the end over here Let's see towards the end of this and to get close to the end there what I also do is I zoom in as much more as possible go down here bring this down a little bit okay I'll go to here copy this paste it right here Okay, to have long I want it. Okay, go back here again. Okay. I'm gonna go all the way back to here. Okay. Play around with this. And uh, also what you can do is if you have uh, like something like a uh, like one of these right here, I'll show you this. You have like a static effect. So I'll show you this. This. You have like a static effect or whatever. Uh, some uh, like 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 this game like some games and stuff they have static effects in them or whatever where you can use them. And they can act like a transition instead of just having a transition. You can have the static effect, whatever. You can probably search on Google somewhere for like a static effect loop or whatever. And uh, I don't never really search for one on Google, so I don't know if they're actually. You can actually get one from there or whatever, but I like a lot of TV shows and movies and stuff like that. They have this static effect in there. Like I know, like 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 the TV show that I watch, like Terminator: Sarah Connor Chronicles, it has like this static effect in there and stuff. And I use that sometimes in my videos. And I just distort it a little bit so that it looks different all the time. And, but this, I got this static effect from just from the uh, Metal Gear game. And it, and it so happened to be on there, so I used it in the video and everything. And just showing you for this tutorial because this ain't in an official video that I'm going to be doing. It's just a just to mess around for just a tutorial and just a little tips and trick on how to edit and everything. And then that's uh, pretty much it on this uh, uh, montage tutorial. I hope you got what you're looking for. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and if you have any special questions or whatever, uh, hit me up. Uh, uh, in a personal message or in the comments and uh, or you can go to my website which is pixelpocketmedia.com you could check me out there I have a forum section for Sony Vegas and everything you just go to my forums and you can check me out there and uh, check out my other stuff that I do with tutorials and everything and stuff over there as well I post all my tutorials that I do here on YouTube there 
and uh, uh, different other content as well, like wallpapers and stuff, and music that I create, and some of them I don't put on YouTube because I don't want to get copyrighted or whatever, so certain ones I'll upload and certain ones I won't on my channel or whatever, and mostly I like to do tutorials on this channel, so whatever songs I uh, upload, it's, it's certain ones, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you later in my next tutorial, and see you later. That's it. What you, what you want, what you, what you want.